Um, and if you start reading up on your noise research, your name keeps popping up in the literature. <laughs> <laughs> what made you so interested in the subject of noise? Can you, can you give us a little tour where it all started? Yeah, well, actually, it happened accidentally. When I, at university, I studied, studied environmental engineering and uh, with special emphasis on acoustics and on air pollution. Uh, and the first uh, place of work that I applied for was uh, the German uh, Federal Health Office. And at that time, uh, a person was working there, his name was Ising, who was very much engaged in noise effects. And I became a member of his team. And uh, yeah, I was fascinated about what was going on there. We, the group carried out laboratory uh, experiments where we exposed subjects and measured uh, several health outcomes, blood pressure, stress hormones and so on. And yeah, I was pretty much attracted. Then I started reading the literature, what else was going on in, in that field. And then I had uh, the great opportunity of uh, becoming a partner in a big health uh, cardiovascular survey which was carried out in two communities in the United Kingdom. Caerphilly and Bristol and it was my duty uh, to assess the noise exposure of the subjects and uh, I also analyzed uh, the data. The fascinating thing is uh, bringing together the information which is obtained from the engineers about the noise exposure and uh, I sometimes call the doctors also engineers, they assess the health because it's a pretty boring job doing the same thing in thousands of people. And Put, bring, putting both information together, this is what we call epidemiology and medical statistics and drawing conclusions from the association. This is a real fascinating thing. And since then I stayed in that business working on noise effect. Not all the time, there was also a period of maybe 10 years or a bit less where I was also working in the field of uh, respiratory effects uh, of air pollutants in children. So, but, but my main uh, subject has become the noise.